never learn. Hello beautiful people and welcome to Lip Balm Kiss TV. So today's video, as you guys can see, we are doing day in the life of an exotic dancer. But before we get into that, I did want to give a huge shout out to Hair Spells. They are a hair company. Um, they sent over this 613 13 by 6 lace front wig. Um, I'll have all the specs and stuff in the description box below as well as a discount code so you guys can save some coins. But overall, 180% um, density. Um, it was straight, it came this straight. The only thing I did to it was I did um, wash it with purple conditioner and purple shampoo to wash out the yellow and make it more of an icy blonde. Um, that's optional, I just felt like it looked a little better that way. Um, so I just installed it with some hairspray, parted down the middle, used a hot comb and some wax. And I got a lot of compliments. Um, if you're brown skin like me, I mean, anybody looks good in blonde hair, let's be real. But if you're more of a brown slash dark skin girl, I feel like this blonde, once you tone it, is really, really perfect with our skin. Um, but yeah, I didn't do too much plucking or anything like that. I pretty much just installed it and melted it with the hot comb. On a scale of one to 10, I give this hair like a seven. Um, the only reason I'm not giving it a 10 is because I feel like it could have been a little bit thicker. But I mean, it was 180% density. So if you do like thinner, more natural looking units, then this will work for you. Me personally, next time I'll lean towards 200% density or 250, um, just so that it's a little bit more full. But other than that, this wig was super soft, super cute. And like I said, I got hella compliments. So yeah, yeah let me know how y'all feel about this. Y'all ain't seen me in blonde in a long time. And like I said, if you're interested in this, a lot of you guys ask me where I get my hair. Um, this is my first time working with them, but I definitely hope we can work again together in the future because this hair was the shit. Y'all see, y'all see it's melted. But yeah, check out the description box below and let me know if you guys want an updated review. So this is our budok, budok samyang noodles with shrimp, green onions, and some chicken wontons. Mama say hi. Hi. <laughs> but I'm just going to eat real quick, and then I'm going to shower. My makeup and hair, as y'all can see, is already done, but I'm about to eat, shower. We're stopping by the liquor store, and then we're going to work. I'm trying to leave here by 7 um, to give me time to kind of bullshit in the locker room, but I'll see y'all at the track. All right, y'all, I have made it to work. I'm about to, you already know, run over my hair and then hit the floor. I just took some pictures. I hate pictures, but I just took pictures for a thumbnail. Oh, I still need to put these fishnets on too. But yeah, it's 810, charging my phone. Y'all look at my scar. Is that not crazy? What do y'all use for scars and burns? Because I keep burning myself with my flat iron. Like, I keep doing it. Damn. When will I ever learn? How do y'all feel about the blonde? Because I like it, but it also feels a little ghetto. But I like it. Not ghetto, but like, I don't know. I can't even really explain what I'm trying to say, but... Our fishnets are on. I'm going to run over this hair. Blonde. I want to know something crazy. I've been dancing for the police for the last hour i was dancing with the police and he was trying to get me to do stuff and i was like i don't do none of that i just dance that's it you can tip me though but i'm not doing none of that i just dance okay that's fucking it he like 
I'm off duty, da 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 da. So I'm like, prove it, you know what I'm saying? He showed me his card, I get scared, like, hold on. Listen, I got too much going for me to try and bust a move over a couple hundred dollars. No, I'm not going for it, okay? So then we end up getting another room. But I'm still, he's still, yes. What's up, girl, friend? No, girl, I look a mess, my last. Stop. No, still gonna get that bread. Still gonna get that bread. Still gonna get that bread. This Coco, y'all. Say hey, Coco, in the comments. Period. I can't put her butt on there, but just know. Oh, oh yeah, you no, can make it, it clap. My they can hear it. They can hear it. Make, Hold it, on. Clap. make it clap. They can hear it. I, I'm gonna make it clap tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna make it clap tomorrow. She just disappointed y'all. She be on stage like, like <laughs> make it clap, friend. Well, that's Coco, y'all. She the homegirl. She the homegirl. But yes, this man was trying to get me to do shit. And I'm like, I can't do that. Like, and he cute too. And he, but he the police. And I'm sorry if you work, if y'all work, know anybody that work for the police, but I do not, I cannot fuck with y'all because it's been too many instances where I needed the police and they was not there for me, but then yet they still killing people. I'm, I hate to be like that, but that's just my personal experience. It's not based off of social media. It's my personal experience. When I personally needed them, like emergency type shit, they were not there, but they will still go do shit that's out of pocket. So no, I'm not going, nah. You can't even take me out to dinner, bitch. I ain't gonna lie. And you watching this, I'm sorry. It's not personal. You were a cool guy. But just your profession in general, it made me nervous. But I ordered some food. I'm a little lit, so I ain't gonna lie. I ordered $100 worth of food. And I'm disappointed in myself because I just bought groceries. And then I turn around and order $100 worth of food. <sighs> Disappointing as fuck. Hello, hello. Hey, hey, hey. We finna go make some bread, y'all. See y'all husband, brother, stepdaddy, grandpa, and landlord. I want the landlords. Send them up here, okay? Because I got something to tell them. Y'all, we finna bust this bag down. Oh, I'm looking thick. Stop. I am not one of them. Chloe in heat right now, so she wanna cuddle, but look how thick I look. Chloe, your mama thick as hell. Fuck they talking about. Okay, so we gonna bust this back down, y'all. As I was saying in the vlog, y'all, I was dancing with the folks. Like, it was really crazy. And he was trying to get me to do stuff, y'all. Like, when I was dancing with the police, he was trying to get me to do things. And I'm not gonna say what because of obvious reasons, but it's like, dude, for one, even if you wasn't the police, like, fuck out of here. But the fact that you are, what you trying to do? See me locked up? Fuck out of here. Some of this money is straightened out. Like, this is a knot. This is not. These is big bills. Let me make sure these are all big bills. And they are. So I like to separate my money, get the big bills, then run the ones through the money counter i got this money counter off of amazon it's linked in my store for the dancers out there or servers cash based people um i know i have some money in here too okay yeah it's not a whole lot but and then we got some rubber bands always need your rubber bands on deck we probably gonna need that's probably enough for bands because we don't have a lot of ones because you know we break them off we break them off break them off okay but yeah the um they was filling the blonde hair oh no okay i'm gonna close that for now because i don't want it to keep blowing the money but they was filling the blonde hair and they was filling the um ginger hair too but i'm about to go back black Anyways, how was y'all's weekend? Y'all got the vibes, the trap house vibes. Y'all always asking for footage of me on stage. Um, did y'all like that video of me on stage? <laughs>
that was our ones. So, it's another hundred. Another hundred. Another hundred. Two hundred. Another hundred. Another hundred. Another hundred. Another hundred. Another hundred. And then this is exactly a hundred. So we've got, let's start with the big wheels. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Y'all should see Chloe right now. She people watching. <laughs> That's eleven. Get the right, Chloe. You get money, Chloe. Get money. Get money. Get money. Well, it'd be touching money. Okay, so that's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Um, I do believe that there is more money in my bag, but I'm going to go buy Chloe food and pads. She's in heat. This is her first period. So I gotta go get her some stuff. I'm gonna get her some treats and stuff. She's a little, you know, she's she's in a, she's having a moment right now, okay? But she's running out of pads and she needs food. So I'm about to go grab her all that stuff. And I'm also gonna fill up my gas tank. Probably gonna grab something from the hair store. Basically, I know I'm gonna spend some loose change. So I'm not gonna add that money to this uh, money account. This was 16, that's straight. Um, we're fixed to go obviously make a drop and get our day started i do have to go to the gym today i'm not fucking playing no more i'm getting my ass in the gym consistently and by consistently i mean two or three times a week mind your business okay that's that's what i can do okay two or three times a week and yeah anyway let's let's get our day started we cooking later too so yeah don't go nowhere don't go nowhere but yeah let's let's go ahead and get into it Okay, y'all, so we is back at the motherfucking crib, and I did some straightening up, and I uploaded a video. It is almost 9 o'clock, and I've got some stuff going, cooking right now. I don't laugh at my food because I don't have a lid for this. Um, I didn't film this because I was just kind of in a rush, and it wouldn't have got the footage it deserved, so... I'm making some oxtails, but I'm not making them in the traditional way. I'm making them like um, like I would marinate like a like a thin steak or something. I just want tender meat, and the base is like chicken broth, bell peppers, um, barbecue, ketchup, garlic, onion, all that stuff. But it's not like the traditional gravy oxtails. I wanted them more of like a steak meat tender steak meat type of thing and then i'm gonna pour that juice over the rice i'm also gonna make some red snapper which i've never made before i'm probably gonna season the snapper with just um onion powder red crushed pepper maybe some italian seasoning and some lemon pepper and then i'm gonna serve it with rice over with the oxtails with like the juice on all of it so this will get me completely through the weekend. I can also eat the red snapper in the morning with some eggs to get like a lot of protein and a good breakfast in before I go to work. Um, so yeah, we're going to head to the gym and get a good workout in. I'm trying to go to the gym twice a week, which I know that's not a lot, but that's better than nothing. So I'm trying to get into the gym twice a week and I'm hoping in the process of going twice a week, I start to get back in the groove of wanting to go more than twice. But for now, we're going to go twice, okay? You got to celebrate the small wins, okay? You got to take baby steps, baby. 
and I'm proud of myself for going right now, period. Because I barely go, but I'm trying to get back into it, y'all. I'm trying. Do y'all work out? And if so, what helps y'all stay motivated to work out? Like, do you put it on a calendar or do you set reminders? Because, like, I just, it's hard. And then people are like, work out at home. I've tried that. But when I think about working out at home, I just want to go lay down. So it's like, I don't know. How do y'all stay motivated to get back in the gym? Like, I don't know. Let me know in the comments because I could sure use the motivation, y'all. But anyways, let's go get a good workout in. Probably just going to do some Stairmaster, some treadmill, and then jump rope and stretch and then leave. That's good enough for me. I'll be satisfied with that. But anyways... Let's go. Hey y'all, I'm excited because late night gym session and nobody's in the top part but me. Like down there, you know, it's a few people down there, but nobody's in this part. And I got it to myself. Yay, go me. But yeah, let's get to it. So you guys, so I'm in my bathroom right now. If you hear background music, I'm watching Tiffany's vlog. I just had to come in here and tell you guys this. I am freaking breaking out in hives. I don't know what it's from because I didn't eat anything that I don't normally eat. Um, like I said, I don't know what that's about. My boo is on his way over to bring me some allergy medicine and run me like an oatmeal type of bath if I feel like getting in. I don't know. But I'm about to wrap this vlog up. I'm just letting y'all know. I'm just not feeling like... It's a lot going on with my skin right now. Like, so fucking annoying. What do y'all do when y'all break out in hops? Please let me know. I know coconut oil is good, so I lap it in coconut oil. And I'm about to run a bath with baking soda vinegar and oatmeal, which I don't want to do. So annoying. It's like midnight, but I'm going to do it. Um, if I don't do it tonight, I'm going to do it tomorrow. But I am going to wrap this vlog up. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Before I go, I am going to show y'all my food. That's going to be like the last tip of this vlog because... I'm not going to let y'all know I'm not going to fix nothing in without y'all seeing it. So period. We got oxtails. We got red snapper, which I just grilled with like lemon and peppers and seasoning. And then I have some rice and some green beans. It's not going to look that good. But if you know anything about oxtails and red snapper, then you fucking know that this shit is about to be bomb. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Take a look at my dinner before you click off and make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for kicking it with me. If you are still here, you are fucking real one and i'll see y'all next video okay this is the oxtail rice with just parsley and i'm about to put some of this sauce which is the sauce i made for the oxtails over it and then i just cut like the snapper in like half low key this is one of them cut in half and i just grilled this lemon but it's kind of spicy i would put sriracha on it because i put sriracha on everything but it's already hot so begging ass niggas look at y'all knees Get down.